do you know? What do you know? What do you know? The birds and the bees got wise to the light. What do you know? So they took to the trees and took to the sky. What do you know? On top of the chain and safe from the rain. What do you know? What you know about the ways of the underside? What do you know? But I shot that by my open guinea. What do you know? Cause I hip to the pool and hip to the right. What do you know? And I hip with the ass cause you ain't got a penny. What do you know? Don't you know about the ways on the underside? What do you know? I'm a hot shot cat from a North Bay Guinea. What do you know? Hang it up with your ass cause you ain't got a penny. What do you know? Talking bombs from above cut you all down the sides. What do you know? Cause I hip to the ball and the hip to the What do you know? Yeah, the streets rose in two perfect waves in the night. What do you know? One crashes on my left and one on my right. It's all fire and brimstone, baby, so let's go outside. What do you know? It's all fire and brimstone, baby. I got my brand new pistol, baby. What do you know? What a hot shot got from a North Bay And the hip to the lies. Welcome back to 13 Folds versus the World on rifreeradio.org. And we are here with our good friend, Mike Maven, finally back from tour. How you doing, Mike? Good, man. I'm good. So uh, how was it, man? You guys were gone for, what, a month? <laughs> two, two months? Two months, yeah. It was an Uber trip or something like <laughs> it that? It was an Uber trip. That was, yeah, I mean, we, we only use uh, public transportation and ride sharing to get around, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was going to ask how that cool. was. Like, how did that app work out for you? It was great, man. Yeah, so Ride Scout was the app, and it was just like, uh, you know, the, basically everything was in real time. So, I mean, like, you know, there was one time where, like, we missed this bus in Chicago. We didn't make it. So, like, oh, like, we refreshed it, and it was like, well, there's this other way to do it, you know, right here down the block at this other bus. So I kind of realized, like, it actually also works in Providence because I always go catch, like, the one on Smith Street down the corner from my place, but there's another one up by PC that comes, like, at a different time, and so sometimes it's faster to take one or the other. So if I just go on the app and, like, refresh it, it, it tells me what's the fastest way to go. Oh, yeah. So kind of cool. I like, you know, I mean, I've, I've had a car for the last decade driving myself around, but it's actually kind of fun and kind of cool to, like, bike and 
take buses, you know? <laughs> you mean interesting folk on buses, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I sat next to Goldfinger once. I don't know if I really? Remember. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't think it was actually Goldfinger, but it was this. It was this <laughs> <laughs> I, I okay, imagine they were Goldfinger. But, no, hold on. No, I'm pretty, it might have been. So it was, this, it was this large, round man, and he had a cigar in his mouth on a bus. It wasn't lit. And he was, he, the whole fucking bus was empty, but he decided to sit right next to me for whatever reason. And here's the odd part is he never looked at me, but he kept staring out into space. And occasionally he would start laughing like, <laughs> He's like I got you, Bon. Yeah, I know. It's like like you said, interesting folk. <laughs> I, interesting folk. I think I'm a celebrity. I don't know. Yeah, I might possibly. Have. I mean, either that or somebody who should be one. <laughs> one of the two. I put him in a reality show. Yeah. That's so how, how were the how were the shows though? Did you guys They're play great. for any packed houses? You went yeah, to South yeah, by man. Southwest, right? No, well, the South by was the best was the best one. You know, um, it was kind of hard to top South by. I mean, we were like at capacity after eight o'clock, and nice. and it was it was you know one in one out the entire night. So, now, did so. you rub elbows with any uh, any big names down there? Uh, I mean, actually, we we uh, we met this really cool guy named Joel that uh, he's like he's one of two artist relations guys for the RIAA. So um, that's kind of that's kind of a big deal, you know. Yeah. Uh, he nice. actually said that he said that we were the best uh, band that he saw at South by Southwest. Oh, awesome! Well, oh, he yeah. was there for ten days, and he said he saw everything from like hip hop to indie rock, and that we were the best band he saw the whole time. So he uh, he saw our schedule that we were coming to L.A. He saw us, he heard us from the street at our showcase in Austin, came up to see us play, then didn't introduce himself. Saw we were playing in L.A. where he lives. And then came out to see us play in L.A. and introduced himself then. Nice. And told us this story. Gave us his card and said, hey, you know, give me a shout. And I guess we're going to do something at the RIAA office in D.C. coming up here. So oh, that's, yeah. that's really exciting. Yeah, man. You know, the things that happen at South By sometimes, it's stuff you don't expect. I mean, I've been doing South By Southwest for a decade, you know. And it used to be that, like, South By was the place you played to get discovered, which is why so many bands go there. And it's not so much anymore. But I guess after a decade of work, maybe it finally... Uh, paid off. <laughs> well, that's cool, because like I said earlier, the coolest person I ever met was Goldfinger. Goldfinger, or possibly Goldfinger. Maybe <laughs> yeah, not was Goldfinger. possibly Goldfinger. It could have been yeah. Magic Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't did know. Did he make you Randy? Oh, uh, did he? <laughs> no. He did pay me to, to walk around and be seen with him, though. That was cool. What? <laughs> what so you th- made him Randy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, so we did, uh, we did the um, Panda... Kung Fu Panda trivia. Last yeah, that was time. fantastic. Yeah. And uh, and I just barely got you on that one. You just barely got barely. It. Yes. It, it was a it was a walk off win. Damn you! Walken. Came down to Christopher Shifu. Walken had to come in and save me on that one. <laughs> you I guys remember. did Kung Fu Panda trivia. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, now, man. mind you, I had never seen the film. So, <laughs> so now I hope you've seen this one because the trivia we have for you today. All right. Is Star Wars trivia because uh-huh. we're already uh-huh. excited about the movie okay. coming out. Oh yes, and uh, and I've been actually singing Star Wars tunes for like you know three days now, and, and it was just Star Wars day. And, and so. it's just you know Star what's Wars really day. cool about uh, about the Star Wars movies is that we got to see in the prequels we got to see Darth Vader as an eight year old, and now we get to see Han Solo as a grandpa. Isn't it great? I fucking love sweet. movies. <laughs> yes, movies are, <laughs> movies are great. <laughs> okay, so movie here's, magic. Here's the first question. And I don't know the answer to these. I'm online here checking these out. How was George Lucas said to have given R2-D2 his name? A, it was from his postcode. B, it was part of the number plate from his grandpa's car. Or C, from a film editing abbreviation, real to dialogue to. I know this one. Do you- go with real to dialogue to. Um, honestly, I would have to say that also. That would be my guess. And? And the answer is, real two, dialogue two. Oh, yeah. Bam. What's the little ball droid's name? It's the mobile C-3PO, <laughs> then. What, the new ball droid? Yeah, the new ball droid. Hemdroid? Like, yeah. Is that his name? Do you have a name? I don't, I don't know. Oh. It suck if it's just like Ian or something shitty. Okay. We just call him Cat Toy. <laughs> exactly what made the Kessel Run... And less than 12 parsecs. This one's easy. I don't even have to ask you to... Do I have to ask, give, you the, give you the choices? The Death Star. That's one of the choices. Oh, you <laughs> should The Death <laughs> Star, Ewoks, Luke's X-Wing, or the Millennium Falcon? Uh, Luke's X-Wing and the Death Star put together. I'm going to go the with Death Millennium Wing. Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> the Death Wing. I'm going to go with the Millennium Falcon, too, because oh, I know that's right. What a shock. Why isn't Ewoks a choice? Because, because they're not a yes. fucking ship. 
<laughs> not, I thought they Kevin flew Church. through space. That's their magic power. Devin, uh, Kevin Church Kevin. is like Mike breathing posse. space. He just follows him yeah, around. Gets to answer with me. <laughs> How do you think that the Ewoks concept came about? It's like, okay, Lucas, I see what you're doing with the Wookiee suit. That's cool and all. Can we get them on little people? <laughs> We want and to with the boss somehow, you know. What I mean? And then you got Chewbacca running around with them all the time, you know, carrying them around. He's like the Bill Cosby <laughs> of the Ewoks, Whoa. you know. <laughs> Holy shit, you do a good, good Wookie. <laughs> we used to say that the Wookie call was uh, was the sound that young pandas make. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, can't, right. I can't do any Wookie call. <laughs> Who wants the next question? Yeah, and we have little... come down to making noises on the radio. <laughs> no, no, where are you going? No. All right. All right. From which planet is Han Solo? Karelia, Tatooine, or Endor? Han Solo? Yes. Ding, 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 ding. This is radio. It works better. Uh, I know. Endor. <laughs> Endor. That's the Ewok planet. I'm going to say it's Corellia. And oh, I am correct. One. You're correct. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Dang it. I thought it was born on I mean, right, damn so it. Now I got, well, like now I got a 100-point lead here. Oh. Taking him down slowly but surely. I'm going to give oh. you another chance. It's a Kung Fu Panda show. Uh. All, over again. <laughs> All right. What is the name of Luke's friend from Tatooine who was killed during the attack on the Death Star? Mark. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> you're correct. You're correct. <laughs> Huff. Dark Lighter. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a porn name. Stoner dude. from Tatooine. <laughs> so shit. Ha- uh. Huff Dark Lighter? Did you, did you write that? Did you make this shit up? Oh, yeah, that's right there. Huff Dark Lighter. You're fucking with me, right? All right. Then there's the crackhead. His, his cousin, Biggs Dark Lighter. All right. No. Or their father, Wedge Dark Lighter. These are all shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. So I'm gonna go- Huff, Biggs, or Wedge? Is there a dick dark lighter? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dark lighter is the actual last name? Yeah, I'm going with Huff, dude, because that's my man. All right, big. I'm going to say Wedge. I want to say Biggs. All right, um, let's see. Wed- Wedge and Biggs. Biggs. The- Biggs, Biggs is correct. We're both wrong. Yeah, that's Biggs right. Biggs is oh, correct. Dude, weren't Wedge, uh, Wedge and Biggs the two guys who started out with you in Final Fantasy VII? I don't yes. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just make it sure. I actually Biggs. played that recently. Yeah, right. Such a good game. <laughs> All right. I was now. doing it for Big E Smalls. All right, we got one one more here. What was Luke Skywalker's call sign in the same assault <laughs> where Mr. Darklighter was killed? Oh, what? <laughs> what these questions are crazy, man. Is it was it red five, red seven, or red ten? Shit, they all have red, red seven. I'm I gonna mean, go with red five. Red five. Fuck What's it. the third option? Red, red 10. Leader. I'm going to go with Red 5. You're not even getting it. Damn, it, it was Red 5. <laughs> wow. Nick takes the lead. Oh. Destroyed. Fuck Destroyed. You uh, got to buy everybody shots round. now. You, oh, is you've that won. The prize? That that's was the prize. You get to buy everyone shots that's in the bar. A, that's not a prize. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an excellent prize, actually. All right, well, put it so, on the tab, and it's under the name David Sorgman. <laughs> So it's funny because he doesn't have a tab. You can start. Yeah. <laughs> you can start. Nor a do tab I have right a last now. name anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I legally got it changed. We can start a tab right it's now. It's Dave. 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 It's Dave. Just Dave, like Madonna, <laughs> the artist formerly Love known him. as Death. <laughs> yeah, or Dave. Sure. Dave. Dave. My, my, a lot of people don't know this, but my real name, my non-stage name, is Mike Matthew. So <laughs> my whole life growing up, people called me Matt Matthew. All the time. <laughs> Matt, 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 I was like, Matt, 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 You really think my name is Matthew, Matthew? Do you actually believe that? Do people call you Matt, Matt? <laughs> Matt, Matt, yeah. Like, Matthew, yeah. Matt, 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 Matt. He's that Matt guy. <laughs> so, you're going to stick around, play some tunes?